Today, Paige Hemesis and Short is <laughs> purposing galvanized buckets from her wedding and creating a patriotic 4th of July bucket. It's great for entertaining your guests. Yes. And so much more, I would assume. Yes. Yes. Well, I love repurposing. Well, here yeah. is how you did it in the yeah. wedding. Here's how you used yeah. it in the in wedding. In the wedding. Yes. This, here's the buckets. Oh, no. This is nope. me earlier today. today. I'll show That's you what I did. Okay. Then I'll show okay. you how I used them at the wedding. Okay. But they were just regular galvanized buckets. I painted the bottom red, and then I used regular painter's tape to block off the parts that I did not want any blue paint on. Then I, I painted the top blue, let that dry, pulled away, revealing the red. And because we want red, white, and blue like our flag, we have to add the white. So I actually used the painter's tape as my stripes. That's all the creativity you need, just the width of the painter's tape. Put white paint over the top of it, peeled it away, and do you notice right there, like a little bit of the paint came, came off? Came off, yeah. But as we know, like from my wedding, I love rustic chic. Right. And one yeah. of the reasons I love it so much is that you can be a little oopsie, yeah. Yeah. and it still looks yeah. good. Yeah, so absolutely. It was meant to be. You don't want it was to look shiny and new. You don't. Yeah. And if you look at this, look at how rough Perfect. this kind of looks love over that. here. So I've, I've actually taken some of this. Uh, this is a really look. fine grate of um, uh, sandpaper. sandpaper. Yeah, and scratch it up. Well, no, it, it looks up. like it's been around since 1776. Yeah, it does. exactly. Yeah. And here's one thing that you guys can help me with. I've taken paint pens, and because it doesn't have to be perfect, I like to add stars to the top. Oh. So if you add stars all the way around, paint them in, it's kind of like a you know, star. It's like right a there. bucket flag. It is. It's a bucket flag. <laughs> and bucket <laughs> flag. And if you notice, I still have family here oh. from Australia. Oh. So I feel like I needed to represent. Of course you of do. Of course Absolutely. you did. So not only can you make these into different colors, you can actually take this. This is for napkins. This is actually something you can put drinks in. Or you can use napkins. Can we go back and show, show people you. what you use, how these yes. started off with at your wedding? Because you yes. mentioned the shabby chicness of the wedding. Exactly. There these we were our living luminaries. So I've actually taken those plants. So this is the base. I don't know if they can see clearly, but it is the base of where the pole goes in. Right. Right? Exactly. Yes. And Mark, you were big help on this. Yep, there's a better shot of them. There yeah. is a better shot. We actually just surrounded them with burlap and lace and then added flowers. So I've taken those hydrangeas uh -huh. home. I've replanted okay. them. Sure. Aww. I'm no Shirley. I can't guarantee they're going to be there <laughs> next month because it's really hard for me to keep plants alive. But then I had all these wonderful buckets. We are having a 4th of July party. So I figured if I can have these and repurpose them as little coolers or little decorations, it'd be perfect. Sure. Okay. You know what you could also do is okay. you could begin to make a list of things on here and you know what that would be what what your bucket list oh my oh. bucket list oh i was thinking oh. fourth of july nobody, nobody got that up on that really it went right over my head while you're wow. talking about your bucket list do i'm going to fill to in connect these all the dots Probably. yes yes you do uh, actually will you do that one i'll yes, do the one I next will. to it okay so we go all the way around painting whatever you would like on these and no, they can't see at home there you go there's can you see yeah we, we can, can turn see. it around um, we also, because I love repurposing and we get to tat it up a little bit here, tatter it up, uh, we can also use these then for, we can paint some pastels for Easter. We can keep the red Christmas. and add some green for Christmas. For Christmas. Christmas. Christmas did, you prim July. did you primer? I did not you, use you primer. primer. Nope. nope. I did not okay. use primer. If I did, probably a lot of this stuff would not have happened. Mm. So, so you, wanted, you want the happy accident. I'm to embracing it. Yeah. yeah. I'm really embracing it. That one is actually, it looks good. Here, do you want to rough it up a you little? Rough it up. Sure. Hey. It looks a little hey. too good. Hey, you. No. Come here. Come um, on. There's actually a mess. That's what you mean? Wow. This is what I have to deal with every day. Every and day. I do. I do every welcome. day anyway. Welcome. welcome. Thank yes. you. My first DIY back and, and we're, things are, are already going back. Are they all the same size as the buckets or can you use, you use we can put ice in here and I thought yes. We got the ice in this one. I thought this one is a good napkin for napkins. different sizes. Yes, Perfect. I'm even noticing some of these that are still left over right. in the tree, the mason jars. Maybe I steal some of those for uh, plates or for some <laughs> Silverware. Mark is very. It's like he's It's like nine. a toddler. I know. Thank, thank you. Okay. 